afternoon uh, to uh, bring more light on this mm. very unfortunate story is Arise News analyst Frank Titi. Uh, so glad to see you, Frank. But uh, uh, yeah. when this story broke and listening to this uh, report, uh, uh, what comes to mind uh, listening to this? Because I see you're also very disturbed. Well, I, I see a lot of crass irresponsibility on the part of the leadership of our country that has been persistent. And then I also see that we are shifting focus from where you should be, this dereliction of duty that is criminal in nature. Nobody talks about the fact that one chance has been a problem in Abuja. So how come we don't have registered taxis enough to be able to, to, be able to uh, determine? Uh, this is tearful, honestly, because you also recognize that there is a, an irresponsible police system that is not giving assurances that um, it, it, it's the citizens of the Federal Capital Territory of Nigeria are safe. We also have a very irresponsible Federal Capital Authority administration that now prides itself more in demolishing buildings rather than in providing basic health care services to the extent that we don't have national emergency ambulance services. What a disgrace. We're talking about FCT here and we're talking about Kubwa. And we also have a, a, a minister of uh, health and uh, social services. He should be ashamed. Did he leave an important job at Gavi to, to come and become Nigeria's health minister because there's less responsibility here? That's the reason why the officials of Maitama Hospital are still there. The expectation is that, I'll be honest with you, given our laws, whether they were especially section 344 of the criminal code, the first thing that should happen, because I've seen the videos, and I'm very keen that we tried much, especially to, 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 to conceal some things. But I saw the video that was trending on, 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 on Twitter. The girl, so you kept in such a degrading manner. Where are the ambulance services? Are you telling me that there are no ambulances between, between Kubo and Meitama? And you should know where Meitama is. Meitama is a harbor, harbor section of Abuja. Now, no, now you see a, uh, that young woman was left in a hospital in the back of a car, right? That's a Nigerian citizen inside the hospital. And then you, we also saw the gate of the medical, uh, the emergency services of the uh, department of that hospital locked. For goodness sake, where's the medical director? He should have been arrested immediately. Though everybody in session in that medical department should be arrested because they committed on a prima facie level, they've committed a crime. They should be on bail by now and be prepared to face prosecution. What did the minister do? Go there to visit? Was it not, was it not uh, I mean, you, you know, scandalized to see the decrepit nature of Meitama Hospital? Meitama Hospital. Meitama is the, you know, the, the Mayfair, the highbrow section of Abuja. This kind of national disgrace and national irresponsibility on the part of our leaders is, it's, 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 because, it's, it's staring us in the face. But I can tell you something. The darkness that is hovering over our country as a result of this irresponsible leadership we have, it presents a golden opportunity all the time for a government to shine. But what do we get setting up, uh, you, know, the, the, uh, you, you know, toothless panels of inquiry to do what? To do what? So, you see, I expect that, if, if, you know, a, 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 a highly respectable, respected Professor Party should, at this time, you know, you know, be making serious statements. I expect that the police should be so embarrassed that this is happening to the extent that when did the girl close, work, close from work? Why should it happen? And then where is our attorney general? We're talking about, I mean, acts of the National Assembly, composite treatment of gunshot victims. I mean, it tells you, it reenacts the standard that is, you know, you know, expressed in section 344, that by omission or commission of any public official, particularly when it comes to do with emergency services, and it leads to that, such a person must be punished. And this, this impunity we don't see anything, even from the office of the attorney general. So, look, look, look. See, if our country is so badly governed today, it's a matter of choice. We have chosen whether it's citizenship or this irresponsible leadership we have right now, you know, playing politics about everything. It's really um, unfortunate. And I'm just thinking of the irony of it all, that this young lady at 33 uh, called greatness. The system has failed greatness. Where will greatness come from for Nigeria? 
Because it's like at every point, at every stop, with the, you know, we just fail. A young man, a musician called Mobad, also known as Imole, in the same month of September, Imole means light, and then right after that, greatness dies. What does that even say to you? Who should be paying? I mean, you're saying the hospital should pay. But it's like everybody at different levels must pay, whether it's the police who has not, you know, carried out. I, I, the, I, I, I mean, you see, this I is could go on and on. <laughs> this is as a result of the cesspit and the cesspool of corruption that greets our public, uh, greets our public service. That's what, why we have this. You know, people just take jobs for the sake of, you know, just having a job, forgetting that job having a job comes with a great level of commitment how dare you call yourself a medical director or a doctor manning the emergency services or you have ambulance services so you what we see is that it's a country that has lost a sense of direction the way if you have a peep at Maitama hospital mm. it is you know no, 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 it, i think this is Maitama district district hospital, Maitama district hospital yes. general hospital you find that even what hospitals in war town countries like syria are better than that hospital. Mm. And that's, you see, the idea is that you, when you talk about greatness living our country, you know, yes, it has left our country a long time ago. And it's, our, uh, uh, but the point I'm trying to make is that it's our decision. Our country is a place mm. where it's survival for the fittest. We know that it is you, you know, for yourself, nobody for you. Yeah. You understand? Mm. It's even good that we had, uh, you know, uh, good Samaritans taking the young woman there. And it's very painful. Painful that you know, somebody will call himself a doctor. No, no, no. Let us not even I go to that. Forget about the doctor. Not even the doctor. Me, can I, so, yeah. Sorry, I need right, to, right. you know, just crave your indulgence here. We're hearing from the CP, the Commissioner of Police in uh, the FCT, advising FCT residents not to, you know, board uh, unpainted uh, taxis. Is that really it? Is that what it's about? Or guaranteeing that people are secure, that there's a sense of security, whether you bought a you know painted or non-painted taxi or whatever. And besides, what's happened to the hundred over hundred you know uh, buses, mass transit buses that you have along that same uh, Kuba Road? Nobody's doing anything about it. A city like Abuja does not have mass transit. Well, you see. Apart from that, why are we stating the obvious? Why are we trying to sound like broken records? When we know that we don't have this, first and foremost, if things are that bad in the federal capital territory, just imagine what they, they, they will be like in mm -hmm. other parts of the country. So you, you're talking about the expectation is this the young woman has died. So what will happen? Why should a, a, a brilliant a young woman mm -hmm. that works for that kind of organization, why should she be caught up with a one chance vehicle? Uh, why is it that in this modern time, the, 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 the uh, hailing, uh, taxi hailing services that are everywhere are not being used? How come would somebody want to... The idea is that you go and fly away in Cuba to get cheap accommodation, whereas you're working in town. Now that she's dead, you find that people will gather money as uh, compensation and whatever, and much more money that she could have used in buying a car or uh, getting a good accommodation around close or to her work. But you see, PhD, uh, let, like let, let's said. deal with the issues. You see, right. who you, does never have an emergency number that they could have called at on Kuba Express Road. Mm. But again, I hold Professor Pate very, very responsible here. He's a, he's a health minister and the minister for social services. Let me tell you, in this country, there is discriminatory you know, uh, approach to health uh, services, uh, you know. And that's the reason why you have specialized hospitals. There's State House Hospital, there's NNPC Clinic, there's CBN Clinic, and then ordinary citizens can't go there. For what? Why? Why shouldn't... Look, let me tell you, if Nema had his ambulances on ground in Kuba Express, that woman would have had resuscitation, resuscitation uh, you, you know, uh, uh, po possibly, po possibly mm. resuscitation services. Let me, let she me, have let died. Me, let let me, me be honest me, with um, you. Yeah. She could have been taken to State House Hospital that is so well equipped for the president to stay. I mean, to, 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 to yes. use, which is close by there, very close to where that thing happened. Mm. But they wouldn't take her there because they said, no, that's for the big men, the people who walk in okay, state let's, house. Let's, and then they took talk. her to that, that decrepit, my uh, 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 That I, medical I, director. I, I get you, Frank. Everyone is in sense. Yeah. I, I, I'm with you on this. Honestly, mm -hmm. I'm with you on this. Uh, no but again, uh, as we try and see how we can avoid this, uh, you know, going forward, uh, let's quickly also state that um, it's not all uh, 
doom and gloom across Nigeria in terms of emergency services when you said, uh, mm -hmm. let, let's give it to Lagos. Uh, and I'm happy that you, you're talking about NEMA. Uh, Lagos has all these emergencies, uh, you know, numbers and services that work. Yes, because we've tried them, we've done our... Suzai, somebody is still responsible in the federal capital territory <coughs> yeah, that, that, and people are dying. No, when First you of said, all, no, there is a Frank, general Frank, acquaintance Frank, Frank, that me, the police that. is Frank, irresponsible Frank, in providing that. security when and then when it happens, when it happens, the emergency response is abysmal. Abysmal at the level of ambulance services abysmal at the level of Frank, emergency treatment Frank, in the hospital. My Frank, friend, it's not a matter Frank, of commendation no, no, here. No, 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 no. We Frank, are facing a, a, no, a situation you, you of cannot, you survival cannot, you here. Cannot, I'm sorry, cannot, I'm sorry, no, sir. No, no. no, Frank, let me land. You, you, you cannot say it's the same for all part of the country. That was why I wanted to give you an example that there is a, uh, a place where, a it, place works. where it works. Mm. And Abuja can actually copy from a you template that template, does work. Yeah. So coming back quickly here, quickly here, because I wanted to put that. So we need to create a balance so, so that it doesn't look like uh, it's all doom and gloom. And these are verifiable things. Now let's come back to the Good Samaritan you mentioned. It's very instructive here mm -hmm. how that can actually discourage good Nigerians from coming to helping people. Yeah because of the kind of attitude that they have put that good Nigerian on the mm -hmm. day, mm -hmm. leaving that lady until she gave up. So what can we do? Are there things in our statutes that will help us first ensure that the CMD of that hospital and everyone who is on duty on the day are brought to justice, mm -hmm. and even the police, have they done well enough to sensitize people? And in this case, the hospitals. <laughs> Let me tell you, the goal of statute most times is prescription of standards mm -hmm. and then demand that those standards be complied with and mm -hmm. every failure is punished to set an example for those watching not to condone or not to repeat such kind of failures. Right. So whether it's a criminal code that demands that there must be, you know, a, 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 there's a responsibility in terms of emergency to act and, and a failure to act will be visited with six months imprisonment or a certain fine and then that was that same standard was redefined in the in in, in the national health act section 20 which expressly says and i and i feel a bit so sad that it only they recommend six months imprisonment or 100,000 naira fine 50, or 50, both. 50,000 yeah, 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 50, and, then, and, and then you know you see and then the problem is that you don't even have these minimum standards being adhered to. So when you tell me that first, the, the first thing is this, it, it is shameful for a, for a police service to be advising people that, oh no, we've got, we're living in a very unsafe environment, so run for your dear life. You know, the idea of a police service is that it prevents crime and not chasing mm -hmm. after criminals that it never catches. That's the problem. A police service should do better than that. A police service should give that kind of you know you know confidence that it's on top mm. now yeah. it, and then make proactive uh, recommendations in terms of registration of taxis and then oh, uh, in that case preventing all of this and more importantly it, the expectation is this the minister of health and the minister of justice those are two principal officers here that are supposed to take this very seriously as for the minister of the fct he should he should feel very very embarrassed what about the ig of police the inspector general of he, has he, has, he, he has a national he has a national problem no yeah, for goodness sake, Part of the it. man that came up to defend the police there, however poor his defense is, but he's correct. He's saying that for goodness sake, even if it's an armed robber that comes with a bullet wound, in this case, translating that standard to section 20 and to section 344, you've got to apply treatment first. I'm going, are you talking about section 34 of the mm -hmm. Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria that demands this constitutional that you treat every Nigerian with some measure of dignity? Is that a Nigerian citizen that has a master's degree that works for the CIPM, the woman well, for that matter that you treat and you left you left there to die in a, in, in one old taxi. Is that Frank so? Churchill. Look, look. Are we a country that is serious? That, that we, the, you, you see, the idea is this. 
I am not hopeless at all concerning the Nigerian situation. I have maintained that all of this darkness that we see emanating from irresponsible leadership and especially public servants who mm. collect salaries for doing nothing is just an opportunity for somebody like President Tinubu to say, look, things must change. It's right. an opportunity for the Minister of Health to say, look, uh, the, you, you, the, the, the medical director of Metama District Hospital is an irresponsible man. It's an opportunity for the Inspector General of Police to have all of them arrested first because there's a private case yeah. against Very them. Well they said. should be obey right now. And then yeah. Nigerians will wake up and then we will see that Nema will know that for all the monies, the budget it has collected, it failed to provide ambulance services. There will be other probe. And then we will right. know that a country is on the direction of recovery, not this kind of irresponsibility that is swallowing us up. One day it will get to their children too. The night a pastor, a poor pastor mm. is, is, I mean, is and his family are now wallowing in yeah, real pain mm. because of irresponsible leadership. Frank and we tell you, we can set of people in our country. Frank okay. Tete, let's hope the leadership has a vision that every Nigerian yeah. deserves the very best. Uh, we'll have to say thank you very much. Uh, it's really heartbreaking and painful.